Oh, this is a good one, guys, and it looks good too. Today, we're talking about the Ultra Torrent 7, the newest version of Ultra's classic Torrent. Now, I haven't worn the Torrent since version 4.5 Plush. They've had some dodgy naming schemes over the years, and I always thought the Plush was just perfect, but then they switched to everything being Plush. Anyway, since my last pair of Torrents, the 4.5, there's been a few complaints, but I am happy to say Ultra has straightened it out, and they've come back with the Torrent 7. They've made a lot of changes, and I think this is the Torrent you've been waiting for. Let's get into it. All right, guys, full disclosure, Ultra was good enough to send me this shoe for the purpose of review. However, no one at Ultra is going to get a chance to see this video before you do here on YouTube. Without the Ultra 7, will cost you $150. It is a daily trainer. And for me, it does fit true to size. The Ultra Torrent 7 has 30 millimeters in the heel, 30 millimeters in the forefoot for a zero millimeter drop. Of course, you already knew that. It's Ultra's balance cushioning. All Ultra shoes are zero drop. And a zero drop shoe does create a nice natural feeling. However, let me just caution you that if you are running in a high drop shoe and you see suddenly switch to a zero drop, you are going to notice a few aches and pains, probably in your calves as your body gets used to running in a lower drop shoe. But if you ask anyone that runs in zero drop or super low drop shoes, they are going to tell you it is the way to go. In a US men's size 9, the Ultra Torrent 7 weighs in at 9.8 ounces or 278 grams. However, in my size, a US men's size 13, it tips the scale at 11 ounces or 313 grams. So this shoe is not wispy light, but remember it is a daily trainer. This is something that you're going to go and put your bread and butter miles in. You're going to take this out for most of your runs during the week. And I can tell you that it is definitely comfortable to wear on those easier runs, those recovery miles when you just need to get the volume in. And also if you're going out for a long run, the shoe just has enough cushioning, enough support to give your feet what they need in a daily trainer. Now, I've got to be honest, I was very surprised with this shoe in how good it felt on my feet. Now, I shouldn't be surprised because I remember the Torrent 4.5 was my favorite Ultra ever. So I should have known, I should have suspected that the Torrent 7 was going to feel pretty good. And yet I was still surprised. I have a short-term memory. But the Torrent 7 really is a treat to run in. But we'll get to the ride in just a second. Let's start at the top. Let's work our way down. If we look at the heel collar, we have a good amount of padding. You know, just the right amount of padding. It's not overly done. It's like flat all the way down. The heel counter is fairly rigid. It's what we want. It does give us a nice heel lockdown. And we have a nice heel flare here to reduce any pressure on your Achilles tendon. Now, one of the changes for the Torrent 7 is that Ultra has redesigned the whole heel area. Well, I don't want to say change, but Ultra says it is a an evolved molded heel collar. Now, as you already know, I didn't run in the Torrent 6, and I guess they had some problems with the heel collar on the Torrent 6, but I didn't have any issues with this, uh, with the heel collar, with the heel lockdown in the Torrent 7. It felt really good. The upper is a, it's a fairly thick engineered mesh. It's definitely going to be resilient on the runs. I think it looks really good, and you can see the style, kind of like this tiger print is what it kind of looks like there. But basically, on my colorway, the darker areas are a thinner mesh to increase ventilation, and then the, and then the lighter blue is a more solid mesh. Now, look, I thought the ventilation in this shoe was just fine. However, when I'm looking at it, it does, it does look pretty thick. Maybe it's because I have only used the shoes for kind of easy runs, recovery runs, and I haven't picked up the pace that I really haven't soaked this shoe through. But honestly, that's what the shoe is for. It's made for those easy runs. Ultra does have a lot of lighter options if you're looking for something to pick up the pace. The Torrent 7, it, it knows what it's made for and it does it pretty well. As far as overlays go, we have the Ultra logo on both sides, just the TPU overlay right there. Obviously, we've got the overlays coming down the eyelet chain to give a little support and an underlay right around the toe box just to keep that toe box up off your foot. Speaking of the toe box, now with Ultra Shoes, you do have the choice, where well, you don't have the choice, but Ultra Shoes have three different toe boxes. And I guess it depends on what shoe you get, depending on which toe box size you get. But Ultra is famous for their foot-shaped toe box. So you can see here, it's just a little wider. And that wider forefoot area just gives your feet enough room to splay. I'm telling you, if you have ever felt constricted in a pair of shoes, put your feet into a pair of Ultras and just feel the difference. It's night and day. But as I was saying, we have three different foot shapes that Ultra uses. We have the original, the standard, and the slim. This is the original, so it's right in the middle. And it's just, it's just super comfortable. That's it. I don't have to say any more than that. The laces are nice and kind of flat, nice linguini shape, and I did get a good midfoot lockdown when I locked them down. Now, the tongue. Ultra has made some changes for the Torrent 7. This is one of the big updates that Ultra has made over the Torrent 6 is the tongue. Now, the tongue is not gusseted, but we do have a lace loop right here in the middle, and I didn't experience any tongue migration while I was running it. But I was actually pretty pleased with the tongue. It's actually, it's quite a good shape, and it's difficult for me to show you on camera, but the tongue does come down just a hair longer than I think I've seen 
even on other shoes. And because of that, it gives me a nice wrap around feeling, but again, it's not gusseted, so it doesn't wrap around your whole foot. And as far as the thickness goes, again, I think Ultra really hit the nail on the head with this thumb. Now we do have a little extra padding right here, and this is where you would tie the laces across the top of your foot. So I didn't experience any lace bite when I locked these laces down. We do have that extra hole for the lace lock method, but I didn't have to do it. I didn't experience any heel slip. And the insole, the insole is removable. I don't think it makes too much difference, but it is a very thin foam material. Let me just sink that back in. Coming down to the midsole, Ultra is using their Ego Max foam. Now, this is a huge improvement over the Torin 6 because they have added two millimeters of stack height. So remember, we've got a 30 millimeter drop, so it is a high cushion shoe. And that two millimeters of extra cushion over the Torin 6 is just gonna give you that extra cush and a lot of road protection. Really is a treat to run in. Now, you may have seen my review of the Via Olympus. And you remember me saying that the Via Olympus started off as a very firm ride. Now, it did break in over time, but it started off very firm. Not so with the Torin 7. This was a treat to run in from the second I put my foot in and the very first run. Now the Ultra Via Olympus also uses Ego Max foam. So I have the durometer here and I'm going to test the softness of the Ego Max in the Torin 7 and compare it to the softness of the Ego Max in the Via Olympus. See right here in the heel, I'm going to try and do it on the same area on both shoes. Got a reading of 31.5 in the heel, got a reading of 37.5 in the forefoot. And let me just come down here and test the sole 33 right there in the heel on the bottom of the ship. Let me reach over and grab the Via Olympus. And with the Via Olympus, let me try and find a similar area. We have 44, 43, 44 in the heel. Again, 43, 43 and a half in the forefoot. And let's just get a reading on the bottom, 45 in the forefoot. So the Via Olympus is a much more firm formulation of the Ego Max. And that actually just backs up what I found in my own anecdotal experience. The Torin 7 is soft out of the box, the Via Olympus is not soft out of the box. Now it did soften up over time, but still it hasn't reached the softness and the plush ride of the Torin 7. Now as far as ride goes, I did have a very good experience during my testing of the Torin 7. In fact, this became one of the shoes that I wanted to grab. And what I mean by that is I've got a lot of shoes that I can run in each day. And usually my testing dictates what shoe that I'll take out on any given day, that or a workout. But I did find myself wanting to grab the Torin 7 for a lot more runs than I thought I would. I thought maybe if I was running back to back to back in the Torrent 7, I might get some aches and pains in my calves. And honestly, I didn't. Now that could be because I have tested the Via Olympus and I have taken that out several times. But honestly, I don't think that's it. I think this is just such a comfortable ride that it was a pleasure to run it. But here's the thing, because it's not all good news. At least it's not all good news across the board. Now, you remember I said I didn't take this shoe out and I didn't run any speed work in it. Sometimes I will take out daily trainers and I will pick up the pace. I'll do a tempo run or I'll run some intervals. I didn't do that in the Torin 7. And when I was running in the Torin 7, I really didn't feel like it was a shoe that I wanted to do any kind of fast work in. And here's the thing, this shoe feels fantastic on my feet. It feels very protective. It feels good when I'm running. I do look forward to running in this shoe, but it does feel just a little heavy. It doesn't feel light and nimble on my foot and the shoe doesn't make me want to pick up the pace, which is fine with me. And it's probably fine for you if you're getting this shoe for the same reason that I got it and you're gonna use it in the same way that I use it. But if you are looking for a daily trainer that can kind of do a bit of everything, in my experience, I don't think the Torrent 7 is that shoe. Now, of course, I think this news is going to put off very few people because in the time that we live in, we know that there are specific shoes for specific tasks. And you don't take a daily trainer, something that's so specifically designed for putting in a lot of miles and being so protective and take that out on race day and expect to run the same, right? We just have too many options that are specific nowadays. But if you are looking for one shoe to kind of do it all, I don't know. Maybe if you're a new runner and you're running a lot of miles at an easy pace, maybe just trying to build up your volume before you start incorporating speed work, the Torin 7 could be a good option for you. But I think for most of us that are looking at this shoe, I think this is going to be a shoe that you are only going to use for your easier runs. And it does a phenomenal job at just feeling good on those easy runs, but it didn't compel me to want to move fast. I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of trashing the shoe by telling you that, but I really don't think I am. This shoe just knows its lane and it sticks to it. Perhaps that's something that some other shoes should pay attention to, but I don't know. I do like a bit of versatility, you know? Okay, now it's your turn. I want to know, have you ever run in an Ultra shoe? And specifically, have you ever run in a Torrent? If you've been an Ultra fan for a while, I have absolutely no doubt you've run in the Torrent. And if you have, this is one that you need to buy. This is definitely a buy. And if you are looking for your first zero drop shoe to kind of maybe work into your rotation, so you get a good cross section of drops to train in, I think this is going to be a fantastic option for you. And if you have made it to this point in the video, why don't you drop the egg emoji in the comments, just so I know that you've made it to this point in the video. And of course, the egg is the symbolize a big zero and a zero indicates the drop. There is no drop. And with that, my name is Matt. This has been my review of the Ultra Torrent 7. Be kind, be happy, run well. See you in a couple of days.